So the Truggy is back apart, mostly because once I got it all put back together, the motor is making a noise. So it was kind of, it was really bad sounding because it was traveling all through the chassis when the motor plate was on and stuff. Even taking the pinion off, it was still really noisy. Um, took it off completely off of everything. Hat, ran it out here. Um, noisy. So said, whatever, it's fine. We'll do the bearings. Uh, I checked the manual because I still ended up keeping that because it has the bearing size in there. Front. 5 by 16 by 5 millimeters and then the rear 5 by 11 by 5 millimeters so kind of odd sizes but i ended up finding a spare front but it also i ended up dinging it with the screwdriver when i tried to install it into another motor i had um but i just figured i'd try and use it here put it in not as bad but still not good so picked up some new bearings today and then I just figured I gotta make it easier to put these bearings in. Something like this on the rear. Um, usually what I would have to do, now these ho this hobby wing, I don't know if all their motors have it, but you can actually take off the back cover. So you can actually see the back of the bearing. Before, this is how most motors are, you cannot get to the back of the bearing. So I just had one of these heavy duty uh, cotter pins and then put it in the vise and just made a nice little tiny sharp bend on it. Like it was actually longer, but it grounded down to the size because that way it just seems stronger. And then I would get that inside and then you just kind of work around pulling on the bearing because that's the only way it seemed to work. I seen where they put bread and I've done it with the compressed grease gun where it actually popped the bearing right out. But the bearings really stuck in there. It doesn't really seem to work. So now I don't really need this anymore. What I normally do, same with this front bearing, because you can get, it looks just the same like this on the outside. All I use is just a one of my bits. Put it in there, works out perfect. Sits in there, and then just give it a whack. So pops it right out. And then when installing this back one, I would just I'm using this for example. Put the old bearing on top of the new bearing, and then. If you wanted to just hit this bearing with a hammer, that's not a problem because you're not going to damage the bearing underneath because it's just hitting on the, the face, uh, like the edges are hitting each other. So that's kind of like what you would also do pressing in an, a car bearing. You use the old bearing to press in the new bearing. But when you're trying to do all of that inside of the motor, it's kind of difficult. And uh, it's just everything sliding around and stuff like that or just stuff doesn't want to stay nice and centered. So I just figured today I'm just going to make a little bearing press. All it is is washers and a bolt. It's very simple. Um, I have one bolt already in there just because it's kind of it took me some time to fish it in there. It's easier with the screwdriver and stuff, but I just want to make a little quick video. So you take your uh, bolt. I put a small washer like this on the back just because it's not going to touch the actual bearing face like the seal there. It's just going to touch the middle. A little one bit bigger would be nice, but also depends on what size bearing you're doing. Um, basically, feed that in there. So here's the end sticking out. It's kind of like the TV shows where are the infomercials. And look, it's already in. So I just put another secondary washer. I use the big one just so it's kind of uh, just not going to scratch it, I guess, hopefully. That was my thinking about it. You could just use that little tiny one in the middle. Um, just get it there. I was just kind of holding the bearing centered in my finger, like from behind here. And, oh, there's a screwdriver. It's basically a screwdriver in to hold the end of the screw. And, where did I put the wrench? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna tighten it up, but you would just keep tightening this because this will just keep spinning as you pulling the bearing in. So, and then once it gets tight, just snug it a tiny bit. Bearing that means bearings all the way down. If it gets tight right off the beginning, right at, like right at the bat, starts getting tight, um, the bearings like crooked. So that's a little heads up. When I just did it now, it went in perfect. As you're tight, as you're tightening it, you can kind of feel bitter resistance, but it just stays nice and easy. Almost you can't do it by hand, but with the wrench, it just feels nice and easy. And uh, and then that's it. Just take it unscrew it all the way i just used a long bolt here also because it was easier to get into the motor 
but that's all you need a couple of washers just make sure it fits down the center of the bearing the, the bolt you're using and then there you go that would be it it's in i got a new one already in there um and even for taking this bearing out i just do the same way put this in here give it a couple wax bearing falls right out so that's nice and easy also i wanted to make this little press thing because of i didn't want to unsolder the motor so <laughs> i just figured you know instead of like having it here off to the side trying to whack the bearing or something like that um just made a lot easier with just a couple little washers a bolt a nut and that's it so uh hope this helped anyone um thanks for watching